So a little bit ago, I answered a question from somebody asking me to create a video about uh, building Linux from scratch. Basically, you know, going straight from the source code and building an operating system from the ground up. Uh, to which I basically laughed and went, yeah. I am not that smart. I really don't want to be that smart. That's a lot of work. And so I pointed the uh, the person uh, in the direction of something called SUSE Studio and its ilk. And so what those are is those are automatic tools that allow you to create distributions of different versions of Linux, uh, you know, basically so that you can specify exactly what you want in the distribution. Do you want, uh, do you want to use like SUSE Linux with just Firefox if you're going to create a kiosk type environment or, you know, just SUSE Linux with just Apache if you just want a basic web server. The idea is with this builder software that essentially you can you can customize the distribution so you only get the packages that you want uh, so you don't act you ha don't have any additional security holes or any kind of that kind of problem and so basically I laughed it off I was like Haha, I'm not gonna teach you how to build Linux from scratch boy uh, but go take a look at this uh, and then one of the comments that somebody left is somebody said hey Eli maybe this guy is talking about the Linux from scratch project and I went hmm What's the Linux from scratch project? And it actually seems like a pretty cool project. I will say, I'm still probably not going to teach it to you, but if you are interested in, in fact, building Linux from scratch, if you go over to linuxfromscratch.org, you can come here and uh, this is actually will teach you how to build Linux from scratch. So when you go to the homepage, this is what it looks like. Welcome to Linux from Scratch. Uh, Linux from Scratch is a project that provides you with step-by-step -step instructions for building your own custom Linux system entirely. And here is the big thing that makes this a curious one, entirely from source code. Uh, so I guess you they give you the source code, you play around with the source code, you compile the source code, and you build your operating system from the ground up. They have different versions, LFS, Linux from scratch, cross Linux from scratch, hardened Linux from scratch, and you can go through here uh, and play with these different ones. If we click on LFS, we can come in, we can see, you know, it teaches you all of this different stuff. It tells you why you would want to build Linux from scratch, so on and so forth. So this project or this website would teach you if you really want to know what's going Going on in the inside of your operating system. So basically, from what I can tell, if you get this, will give you the source code. You get the source code. You actually compile everything. You build the thing from the ground up, and you can have a fun old time with it. Now, in the real world, the real real world, um, basically something like this is good for two people. Honestly, uh, one uh, people that are just curious and interested, which. Uh, I don't have anything against. If you're curious and interested, go ahead and play with it. But this is definitely kind of like one of those side projects you mess with to see what's going on. Uh, and the other people, again, as I've talked about before, is if you're going to be deploying a lot of uh, like Linux servers for something, you're going to go into, again, you're going to go into a data center environment and you want to make sure the servers literally only do one thing, that you can truly customize them all the way down, then you would normally do something with Linux from scratch. The reason is, a lot of people will argue with me, a lot of the noobs out there will argue with me, and they'll say, Eli, Eli, you should always build Linux from scratch or whatever. You should, you should know exactly what's in your operating system. You should build it from the ground up, Eli. Here's the thing. <laughs> One of the things you learn as an IT professional is your own limitations. Uh, that's probably like the first lesson you learn, uh, and it doesn't really sink in until about a year after you've been doing this field. Uh, and so one of the things is you do have to realize is when you use somebody else's distribution of Linux, you know, whether it's Ubuntu or SUSE or one of these other uh, derivatives, um, those people really have spent a lot of time to make sure it is stable and it is secure and the damn thing will actually work, right? Um, you know, when you look at Ubuntu or you look at CentOS or you look at any of those distributions of Linux, people have spent an extraordinary amount of time actually making those sure those distributions do what they're supposed to do. So the one thing, you know, we all have this feeling as if we build something with our own hands, it is somehow better than if we get it off the shelf. Uh, and in re reality, it's, it's not so much. <laughs> I, um, I, I tried my hand with rebuilding cars way back in the day, and let's just say at the end of the day, I decided buying a new car was a better bet for me. You get what I'm saying? Uh, and so that is the only warning I'll give you with something like Linux from scratch is 
is definitely if you want to play with it, go ahead, play with it, learn all the stuff. There's nothing bad about it. I mean, compiling your own operating system, that looks good on a resume. Nothing there, no problem there. Again, if, you, if you're going into an environment where you really need to know exactly what you're putting on the, all the servers, again, building Linux from scratch would be a good idea. I will say for most people in the world, Again, find your distribution, whether it's Ubuntu or CentOS or SUSE, and, and stick with it. But, uh, but yeah, it seems pretty curious. If you're interested in this Linux from Scratch project, again, linuxfromscratch.org. Apparently, they give you the source code and all that. Take a look at that and see if you, in fact, want to build your very own version of Linux.